Predictions about the future, uh, especially about the future of science, are always an enticing thing to do, but they have a certain danger about them. As uh, Yogi Berra famously said, the future ain't what it used to be, and I think that's often the case. We're, we're notoriously bad at making predictions about the future. In fact, one could probably write a book or a treatise on why it is we're so bad at making predictions about the future. Um, We've been having a war on cancer for years and predicting that we cure the disease now for many decades, and we haven't done so. Uh, we're all supposed to be flying around with jetpacks on our back, and we're not doing that. Uh, all of these things were predicted just a few years ago. But little blue pills to have erections on demand, or this thing we play with called the Internet, neither of those were in anybody's prediction book, I don't think, 25 or 50 years ago, and yet here they are. So on the one hand, it's a bit dangerous to make predictions because they're unlikely to come true, um, and it's notoriously risky to make statements about the future. On the other hand, it's, it's a kind of a fun game, and it gives us some ideas about what we don't know. I mean, what we predict about are the things we don't know that we think we will know. And so there is some value in making these predictions. My favorite way of making a prediction was done by uh, David Hilbert, the famous mathematician in the 1900s, who in an opening speech to the, forget what it was now, but it was an opening speech to the uh, Mathematical Association of somewhere or another, it was in Paris in 1900, outlined 23 questions that he felt were the crucial questions for mathematics. And in fact, by outlining these questions, he essentially predicted what mathematicians would be doing for the next hundred years, which they have been doing, in fact. And so predicting by asking questions might be the safest way to do this.